Well, many of us are enjoying these beautiful fall weather, but we're still above average for this time of year. Meteorologist Chris Ramirez has a breakdown of past years. Chris? Yes, Karen, of course, those high temperatures across the valley topping out in the 80s, but we're supposed to be around 79 in Brownsville and Harlingen and also McAllen. But those records were set back at uh, 1906 in Brownsville when they got up to 91 degrees. Harlingen got up to uh, 90 degrees with in 1964, McAllen's record at 91 in 2016. So we're still continuing to see those a uh, little bit warm temps, and it's going to be just a little bit warmer as we go into the end of this week. But, of course, along the coast, there is a coastal flood advisory until midnight on Thursday. Thursday, a high rip current risk uh, possible if you are along the coast. So be extra cautious and practice those water safety measures if you are planning to get into the water because we're seeing a little bit of rough conditions right now. On South Padre Island for tomorrow, we're going to be topping out at 76 degrees. That surf temp at 75. Low tide is at 1135 a.m. High tides at 1014 p.m. with that high rip current risk still in effect uh, as we head into the next 24 hours. For this weekend, we're going to be topping out in the 70s. Definitely pleasant conditions across the coast areas with mostly sunny skies. However, a little bit chill on the chilly side for those overnight hours. But across the area, we have dropped into the low 60s. Temperatures are going to continue to fall into the 50s as we go into tomorrow morning. Winds right now fairly calm uh, across the valley across South Texas. But as we look at the next uh, five hours, expecting those uh, 60 degree temps through the old early morning hours, but very quiet across the state of Texas. No cloud cover, no rain in sight for the South Central U.S. And that's all due to a high pressure system that's situated over Mexico. This is preventing anything from forming and uh, we're going to see these above normal temperatures for quite some time but as we go into the next couple of days that high pressure system is going to be moving off towards the east. It's going to be bringing in that easterly flow of wind of course increasing those dew points in atmospheric moisture for the weekend. So we expect a little bit more cloud cover as well as higher humidity levels for Saturday and Sunday. So expect a little bit more muggy conditions but as we look at those future clouds and radar we're going to start seeing these clouds start increasing uh, in the early morning hours, a few isolated stray showers possible along the coast. But as we head into tomorrow afternoon, mostly sunny. Again, those high temperatures in the 80s. We could be all 85 degrees, just about a couple of degrees warmer uh, for tomorrow. For the next seven days, we're going to be on that warming trend for the most part until the weekend. And then as we go into the start of next week, we are anticipating another cold front that's going to be on the way. Rather weak. Highs back into the upper 70s, not really too much changes in that. As we head into Monday, we could see some isolated showers out of this going into the start of next week, lasting into Tuesday. But then other than that, warming right back up into the upper 80s for Tuesday and the rest of uh, Thanksgiving week there. For the tropics, there is two areas of disturbances that are still you know, to keep an eye on. Low chance of formation for the next uh, several days or so. But uh, of course, the iota, a remnant low tomorrow here across the valley, topping out in the low 80s. Mostly sunny with those winds out of the east at 5 to 10 miles an hour and for your seven day forecast expect those temperatures to be slowly climbing up into the 80s for the end of this week partly cloudy conditions expected for the weekend 20 percent chance of isolated showers with that cold front on monday but overnight lows remaining in the 60s we'll be right back